Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and today we're going to speak about those shocking five words that block your manifestation every single time. That's right, every single time. I get this all the time when I'm speaking to people, when I'm reading people's comments, I see or hear these shocking words every single time. So if you're having problems with your manifestations, you're feeling like you're stuck or you're not getting where you want or where you need to be, watch this video all the way to the end and see if you're speaking some of these words into existence. If you're new to my world of metaphysics, this is the Law of Attraction Metaphysical Life Coaching Channel that brings you information in an easy to understand manner. So don't you forget, support me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell. Now let's get started. I'm back. Now what is it that I have to tell you about those five shocking words that block your manifestation every time? Listen, again, I hear this all the time, either during my coaching sessions or when people write. People say, I want to manifest this. I want to manifest that. And at the same time, everything they're saying besides that is a word that's always blocking their manifestation. And then they wonder why. Listen, you're not alone. We all do this. It's all part of your subconscious mind programming. We all been there from whatever your teachers, your parents, your family, whatever it is that you went through as a child going up until today has been programmed in your subconscious mind. So we cannot help but say or think a certain way. But as a deliberate creator, we all have to start thinking about what it is we are saying and change that into something positive. So now let's get to those five words, those five shocking words that I know is blocking your manifestation. Again, we all been there, including myself. Now, the first word I want to start with, or the first thing I want to start with that you're beginning your sentence with is I need. Listen, we all been there. I need money. I need a new boyfriend. I need a new job. Whatever it is, I need, I need, I need, I need. When you say this, you are actually coming from a negative perspective, coming from a need or a lack of having, okay? Most of the words that I'm going to talk to you today, in fact, every single one of them is coming from a lack of having. So when you say, I need, remember the universe is there to serve you. The universe is you and how it knows what you want is by what you say, what you truly believe. And a lot of these words is coming from your subconscious mind. Remember, your subconscious mind is controlling the majority of everything that it is that you're doing. It's, it's actually allowing you to speak out things that you have held inside of you. Things that you are consciously not even aware you saying it. It just comes out naturally because it's part of your subconscious mind programming. I need... Change that word to, I have. I have a job that supports my family and I am very grateful for it. Whatever it is you are saying out to the universe and the more you say it, the more it is embedded in your subconscious mind, replacing those negative words. By doing that, the universe is going to bring you more of whatever it is you're grateful for. Now, let's get on to the next word or something that you begin your sentences with. And that is, I can't. <laughs> we all do it. I can't do this. I can't do that. That's too hard. I can't do it. Do not use that word, I can't. If you say, I can't, you might as well say, I don't want it. Okay? Whatever it is you believe you can do, you can do. Whatever you believe you can't do, you can't do. What it is, you replace that with, I am getting better and better at whatever it is I'm doing, okay? So it's very important to realize the words that you are using. Whatever it is, eliminate that word out of your vocabulary and say, I will never use it again, okay? Now let's get on to the third word. The third word is another one that we use all the time, and that is, I never. People, 
I never have enough money. I never get the right opportunities. I never have the right woman. Never use those words when it comes down to whatever it is you're trying to manifest. If you're trying to manifest a new house, never use that word never in association with that house because you will never get it. Now, I remind you now, I'm using the word, but I'm not using the word in association with whatever it is I'm trying to manifest, okay? These are words that you should not use. If you're saying, I never, change it to I always. I never get the right girlfriend. I always have opportunities to get the right girlfriend. Stop yourself and say, why did I say that? Why did I use that word never? Why did I use that word I can't? Why did I use that word I need? When you start realizing that you're using these words, you start to realize how your subconscious mind is programmed. And then by doing that, you can say, is this, uh, is this true? Is this actually true about myself? And most likely, it is not. Now, let's get on to the fourth word. This is a biggie, you guys. I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Some people don't even say it. They think it all day. I wish that was mine. I wish that was mine. I wish I had that. Let me tell you, I wish is another word or beginning of a sentence that will actually take you further away from what it is that you desire. Again, you guys, the universe is like a genie. I wish, I wish, watch your words. I wish, you're coming from a place of lack, okay? I wish, it's almost saying I don't have. In fact, it is saying I don't have. Try to change those words. Instead of saying, I wish, say, I am, I have. Any of these words are better than saying, I wish, okay? You have to look at it as being grateful for what you have. By being grateful for what you have, you are actually sending out a better vibration, first of all, and you are actually sending something out to the universe saying, I want more. Okay, but if you're saying, I wish, I can't, I need, all of these things is coming from a place of lack and you are actually sending that out to the universe, bringing more to you of what it is that you're saying you don't have. Now, let's get to number five. Number five is another one that we use a lot. And that is when you get desperate and you feel like things just aren't working well, a lot of us use the word I hope, I hope, I hope. Remember people, when you're using these words, these words usually come with I in the front of them. I don't have, I wish, I need, I hope, okay? It's almost saying the opposite of I am, I have. Now remember everybody, when you use the word I, you are only speaking about yourself. So remember that when you use these words, these words usually come with attached to the word I. Start realizing what you're saying and start seeing it from the universe's point of view saying, hey, look, you wish, keep wishing. I hope, keep hoping. When you say I have, I am, you are actually placing things in the present saying this is already done and this is what it is. By saying I hope, I wish, I need, you are actually putting things in the future stating this is what I hope I have. This is what I hope I would get. And, and you're putting it in the future and it will stay in the future. The thing I'm trying to get you guys to all realize is we all have to start watching what it is we are letting out of our mouths. What it is we are thinking. You see somebody with a nice car. I wish I had that. I never, I never get stuff like that. I can't do that. Oh, that girl, she has two jobs. I can't do that. I have to take care of the kids. I have to go cut the grass. I got... I can't, I can't, I can't. But at the same time, you're saying, I need, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want. Whatever it is, start paying attention to what it is that you're saying. And I'm telling you, if you don't, 
you're still going to be coming from a place of lack and you're still going to be asking the universe to bring you in these things. And every year you're going to be faced with, I don't have. Because you're coming from a place of lack. The universe never fails. It gives you exactly what it is you're asking for. So I'm saying by watching this video, by listening to what I'm saying, even for myself, we all need to realize what we're saying and try to use it, if not at all, the least as possible. This is going to be a big change for all of us, everyone. We're all going to be enlightened to what it is we're doing, whatever it is we're thinking, whatever it is we're saying. I bring you the information so that you guys can easily understand and put it immediately into action. So this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always bringing you law of attraction, metaphysical knowledge to help change your life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell. Give me your support. You can follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can receive one-on-one -on -one coaching. Thank you everyone out there that has signed up for coaching. I appreciate it. You can also visit store.myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can buy crystals and candles and sage. I have plenty of products there to help you with your manifestations. Again, this is Yvette. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Namaste.